Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to integrate cosecant theta d theta. For this integration, we have two alternatives. I'm going to go through one of the alternatives and at the end of the video, I'm going to give the recipe of the second alternative. Let's begin. As our first step, we are going to expand cosecant theta with cosecant theta plus cotangent theta. Since this fraction is equal to 1, anything divided by itself is 1, so we don't change anything in cosecant theta. So our new integral will be this. And we're going to distribute cosecant theta into this numerator and our integral will turn into cosecant squared theta plus cosecant theta times cotangent theta all over cosecant theta plus cotangent theta d theta. As our step 2, we are going to apply u substitution. So let u be equal to the numerator here, cosecant theta plus cotangent theta. Then du will be equal to derivative of these functions. Derivative of cotangent theta is negative cosecant squared theta. And derivative of cosecant theta is negative cosecant theta times cotangent theta. And we have d theta here. And if you solve for d theta in this equation, d theta will be equal to du over negative cosecant squared theta minus cosecant theta times cotangent theta. As our step 3, we're going to write everything in terms of u. Now let's write everything in terms of u. Before that, I would like to write all terms, everything, to show you. So cosecant squared theta plus cosecant theta cotangent theta on top. And we have cosecant theta plus cotangent theta here. Instead of the theta, we're going to substitute du over, and if we factor out negative sign here, cosecant squared theta plus cosecant theta cotangent theta. Now, this numerator cancels this denominator because they are exactly the same terms. We can pull negative sign to the front here and we're going to have 1 over and instead of cosecant theta cotangent theta, we can write u because this is our u substitution. Now we know how to integrate 1 over u. Antiderivative of 1 over u is ln of u plus c. And we have negative sign in front of the integral sign. Now we can bring u back and finalize this integration. Negative ln of cosecant theta plus cotangent theta plus c is our final answer. The second alternative is again u substitution, but this time our u will be tangent x over 2. Then the u will be the derivative of this secant squared of x over 2 all over divided by 2. And you're going to express secant squared in terms of sine and cosine. And you're going to use the identity that secant is equal to 1 over cosine. And if you place everything in terms of sine and cosine, you're going to solve this integral using the second method. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped.